If you live it, love it, or bite, we talk about it on Life Love Shopping. Former talk show host Ricky Lake is revealing her drastic 30 pound weight loss, and she claims it had nothing to do with Ozempic. Lake took to her Instagram page to share before and after pictures. Ricky says both her and her husband decided to go on a weight loss journey together. During a recent interview, Lake said that being fat worked for her during a successful stint at one time as a Hollywood actress. However, her health and well-being has taken center stage, and she says she has never felt or looked better, and I gotta say she looks phenomenal, and she seems very, very happy. Well, forget working out if you're drinking two or more sodas a week. Experts say consuming just two 12-ounce cans of a sweet drink every seven days can erase any health gains made by your exercise. Health data from more than 100,000 adults were studied ages 30 and older. The result? Well, the damage done by sweetened drinks cannot overcome the results from a 30-minute daily workout. Dating in the digital world can be a nightmare for both men and women. Enter the New York dating expert named Nico, who calls it like it is. He hosts a dating advice page on TikTok called The Daddy Academy. This video about how men pursue women has racked up more than 3 million views. Take a look. When a guy likes you, there's one speed he's going to take. Okay, welcome to The Daddy Academy. And it should look like this. Within 48 hours of meeting you on a dating app, okay, a few exchanges back and forth, he will get you off it, get your number, set a date for that weekend. Throughout the week, you will get consistent communication from him, not constant. You, know, you, might, you might skip a day or so, but you will know that for certain that date is happening that Saturday night. Go on this date. Have an amazing date. You have a great time. Coming out of that date, whether you text him first or he texts you, there'll be that communication on Sunday. He will say, obviously, if the date went really well, I would love to see you again. What are you doing this weekend? So plan the day for the following weekend. You agree? You're going out that weekend. There will be consistent communication throughout the week. Not constant. Okay, so he's not blowing up each other's phones. Like, But you will hear from him maybe every day, every other day. But enough that you still feel confident about the way things are going. To go on that second date. Repeat. More or less, it's going to be that same cycle. Okay, he's not going to be love bombing you. You're not going to see him four times in two weeks. Like, it's this this consistent one week date, a little chit chat, one week date, a little chit chat. And that will continue for at least the first month. After the first month, things can start to ramp up a little bit. For, but for those first you know, three dates or so, that is the speed it should feel. And it's good for you too because like you don't know a guy until you've seen him over like a period of time. If you love bomb each other and you see each other four times in the first week, it's like – you're just building this like connection based off of emotion and you're not really seeing how he operates, right? So you, you want to see how he operates as well. But a healthy masculine man, this is how he's going to go about pursuing you, okay? That's not going slow. That's the proper speed. Going slow would be you see him once a month. That's slow, okay? That we don't like. Once a week for the first month, that's great and they could always build from there. So there's no taking it slow. If a guy really likes you, this is the way he'll go about it, and it will only increase over time. More communication over time, more dates over time, and it will slowly build from there. But there's no such thing as going slow. This is the one speed. That's the man speed. Well, a Colorado ski town known for its laid-back mountain chic has become so expensive, locals are being priced out of their own homes. Steamboat Springs, just three hours outside of Denver, attracts thousands of visitors every year thanks to its champagne snow and Old West charm. However, some are blaming Airbnb for wealthy vacationers and influencers driving up property values. The housing crisis has become such a challenge for the city of 13,000 that local hospitals there can't find anyone to hire. It's tried to hire an HR person Person, but the problem is that the $167,000 a year salary isn't enough for anyone to afford to buy a home there. Same goes for anyone working in the restaurant or hotel industry. Since 2020, the price for a single family home in Steamboat Springs has increased 80%. The average price is now $1.8 million. Add to that property taxes, which are up 86%. For more information on any of these stories, please head to our website, lifeloveshoppingshow.com.